Am I the asshole? For ruining my brother's book? Okay so my brother has a collection of books, he has been collecting since he was around 10, he reads almost every day and has two large bookshelves in his room. I've recently started trying to read more and I saw a book recommendation online, I noticed my brother reading the same book a few days earlier and instead of buying one online I thought I'd just ask him if I could borrow his, he said he'd finished reading it and to go ahead but just return it when I'm finished. There was no problem with this on either end. Anyways I was reading that book in the living room, my brother came in, no problem. I folded the paper over to keep the page and as I was doing that he looked over and started shouting at me for bending the page, he grabbed the book from me and stormed upstairs and slammed his door, I followed him up to see why it was such a big problem but he continued to scream at me for ruining his books, I've always done that with books and I don't understand why it's bad, I get that he likes his books but geez. You're the asshole. I fold down the corner of the page, underline passages I particularly like, etc. But only on my own books books I borrow get returned in as close to the same condition as they were lent as possible. This should always be your goal when borrowing any item from someone else. Return it in the same condition you received it. You're the asshole. From your response it's clear you do not treasure books as much as your brother. If you are borrowing someone else's belongings, you should be treating it better. Don't dog ear the books. And don't open the book so wide as to crease the binding. You're the asshole not your book. You don't fold pages of books that don't belong to you. Now go buy him a replacement. Just to be clear, it sounds like you dog-eared the corner of one of his pages? And maybe even more? Yes, you're the asshole. Bookmarking a page like that when it doesn't belong to you is not okay. From one dog ear to another, you're the asshole. What you choose to do with a personal book dog ear, write notes. Crack the spine is not okay to do to a borrowed book, especially if you know your brother collects books. Buy him a new copy. You're the asshole you don't dog ear someone else's book. Use a book marker. You can literally stick any small piece of paper in there to hold your spot without folding the pages. I have books as old as 120 years please show respect for your brother's collection. Apologize and if needed, purchase the replacement. You're the asshole I don't understand why it's bad. I get that he likes his books but geez. The problem to me is that you're not even trying to understand why this might upset him. You've basically decided he shouldn't be upset because you do it all the time. So in your thinking if I do X then no problem, who cares what someone else thinks try and be more empathetic and see why he doesn't like this. You're the asshole. When you borrow something, treat it the way the owner wants it to be treated. No matter how you would want to handle it. Apologize, this is entirely on you. You're the asshole. That is called dog earing and it is a very disrespectful thing to do to someone else's book. Don't do it. You owe him an apology. You're the asshole. When you borrow someone's property, you should return it in the same condition. You're the asshole. I would be pissed too, I hate when people damage my books. If you can't return exactly how you borrowed it, you shouldn't ask for them book or anything else. I folded the paper over to keep the page. Never do this to a book that isn't yours. JFC, you don't have a single scrap of paper in your house. You're the asshole. You're the asshole you don't dog ear someone else's books, that's just common courtesy. I also borrow books from my brother, and while I dog ear my own books all the time, I am careful to use a bookmark with his. Honestly, I don't even know if it would bother him, I didn't ask, but it's simply common courtesy to return someone's possessions in the condition you received them. You're the asshole if you dog eared one of my books you would never touch another. You're the asshole. Some people don't mind creasing the corners but clearly your brother does. You don't get to shrug off the responsibility of your actions just because you don't consider the book to be ruined. It's his book and he does. You're the asshole. You borrowed his book and you can't damage someone else's book. Most book readers including me would hate it if someone folded pages in their book. You're the asshole. Fold your own books. If you're borrowing something you treat it extra well. You're the asshole if someone collects something, anything, any damage done no matter how minimal is devastating to the collector, even if it's just a collection for private enjoyment and not monetary value. To you it's just a book. To them it's something precious. You're the asshole, that is what bookmarks are for. Ugh. You're the asshole look I am a book folder as well and I don't care about the pages very much but at least I have the common decency not to fold other people's unfolded books. You can't go back and smooth that page out perfectly. That page will forever have a fold mark BC you are disrespectful with your brother's belongings. 
apologize and don't do it again if he ever decides to trust you with his valued possessions again. You're the asshole you should return all borrowed property in the same or better condition than when you received it. I'd be majorly pissed at having my book returned all bent up. You have a bad habit and no respect for other people's property. You're the asshole. How would you feel if, say, you were a gamer, and he borrowed a classic PS2 game, played it, then scribbled done on the disc with a sharpie, then claimed what's the big deal, I do it to my games all the time. You're the asshole. How can you be your age and not know that people that cherish their books don't fold the pages over? It's highly disrespectful to do to someone else's book that you borrowed. Go buy him a new one since you did ruin this copy. You're the asshole. Never bend another person's books pages. You're the asshole don't fold other people books just don't bookmark her or a simple piece of paper would work. You're the asshole. Get ready for the book lovers to descend on you. I also dog ear my book pages, but they're my fucking property, and I would never do that to a borrowed book. If you really want to fix it, I'd get him a new copy and trade it for the one you damaged. You're the asshole. If the book is yours go ahead and dog ear the pages to your heart's content but when you borrow something from someone you should strive to return it in the same condition you got it. Which means no folding pages over. You damaged his book which makes you TA, and you're acting like it's no big deal that you damaged his belonging which makes you double TA. In the future, use a fucking bookmark if someone lets you borrow a book. You're the asshole. You borrowed a book from someone who obviously treasures them, and then immediately damaged it. The fact that you don't respect books as much as he does, doesn't change the fact that the book is his property not yours to do your usual thing with. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but you should always treat things you borrow with more care than things you own yourself. People who collect books don't dog ear the pages or break the spine. You're the asshole, but just from ignorance, not deliberate spite. Apologize to your brother. You're the asshole. Buy a bookmark dude. You're the asshole. Don't do that. You're the asshole plenty of people despise dog earring pages. Your brother is one of them. Best thing to do? Return books in the same condition you borrowed them. Start using makeshift bookmarks instead of folding the corners of pages. For the record, if I were your brother, you'd never be allowed to borrow my books again. Dog ear here. You're the asshole. Never ever do that to someone else's books. Yours, fine. But if you borrow a book treat it with respect. You should apologize to your brother, his book and possibly consider getting him a book as an apology gesture. You're the asshole sure I don't think it's the worst thing in the world but I would be bothered if someone folded my book. There are different standards for your belongings and ones you're borrowing from others. You're the asshole. If you don't have a bookmark just use a freaking shop bill or metro ticket. Folding pages is nasty. Oh dude you're the asshole for sure. Have you not heard of bookmarks? It's not your book to bend pages on. I used to do this thing in middle school, where if someone would lend me their mechanical pencil I would snap the clip because I'd always do it with my pencils out of habit. This is a lot like that. It's not your stuff. You're the asshole. Use a bookmark. A receipt. A dollar bill. Ugh. If you want to dog your pages to your own books, do it. Don't do it to other people's books. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. How are books supposed to last if you're dog earing the pages? I shudder to think about how many books you've done that to. Not to mention, you would think you'd take care of something that doesn't belong to you a bit better. I think you owe him an apology. You're the asshole. You are free to do whatever you wish when it comes to your own property, not someone else's. You're the asshole my sister is a big big book reader me on the other hand I have zero interest in reading yet even I know you don't fold the pages if he wanted his pages folded you would have seen creases from when he'd done it himself. Buy a bookmark. You're the asshole for damaging this property that's what bookmarks are for. Heck, a tissue or square of TP or a shred of junk mail would all have been much better choices. You're the asshole. Seriously, you do this with other people's books? You can literally use any piece of paper as a bookmark. I use junk mail when I can't find an actual bookmark. Guess you're never borrowing your brother's books again. You're the asshole. Just because you've always done it doesn't make it right. You're the asshole. Paper is everywhere grab a receipt, a piece of junk mail, that new business card your friend gave you that's just sitting in your wallet. Anything but don't fuck up someone else's book. You're the asshole for not respecting his property, especially something as important as being part of his collection. 
you can take steps towards repairing the situation by purchasing him a new copy, expressing remorse for not respecting something important to him, and then giving him the space to process it. It's not a huge awe move by any means, but thoughtlessness can easily damage relationships. Lol this is a weird lesson that everyone who knows a book lover has to learn. I did this to someone once and didn't get it either. Then started lending some of my favorite books out and they'd be returned creased to high hell sometimes they'd even write in them so now I get it. Soft tooted but now you know, just apologize and don't do it again. Who alls I can think of as if I did this my dad would be so mad I am not a big reader but my dad lo oh oofs books, anytime I did get a new book he would remind me books are precious please don't dog ear them, the corners will fall off so yeah, on behalf of my dad, you're the asshole. You're the asshole I am also a book collector and a reader. Dog earing the pages is the bane of our existence. It creases forever, it makes it look less pretty, and if done enough it can lead to page tearing from where. The issue isn't just that you made a mistake, it's that you won't own up to it. He walked away from you to get some space, give it to him, then apologize. You're the asshole you don't dog ear a book that isn't yours. You're the asshole. This is why God created bookmarks. You're the asshole. Bookmarks are a thing. If you had done that to one of my books I'd be equally angry. You didn't respect your brother's belonging and you didn't respect him. You should replace the book and apologize. You're the asshole. Use a bookmark. Don't dog ear books. I damaged one of my brother's books, knowing how much he treasures them, and then he got mad at me seriously? Obviously you're the asshole. You're the asshole. Who taught you to handle books? Your brother is in the right. You're the asshole you could have used any scrap piece of paper as a bookmark. Bookmarks are a thing even a scrap piece of paper. Uta for doing that it does ruin books but your brother's reaction is a little extreme. Can't see him borrowing you any more books. You're the asshole, if you borrow something it should be returned in the condition you received it in, regardless of how you treat your own possessions.